everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I uh, hope everybody is staying warm in this crazy, 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 crazy winter weather. Today I have a video that I wanted to share with you. Um, in some house purging, I came across some seeds that were from 2014, but they're Baker Creek seeds. And I'm going to attempt to sow them and see if they will germinate and see what we get out of them. There are some really cool varieties. Um, I'll show you the tomatoes that we have. Um, the delicious, which I'm sure most people have heard of. This one I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. Uh, vintage wine, tomato, green pineapple. This one here, and the Dakota Gold. Okay. So, I usually want to sow these seed, my tomato seeds, but I'm going to try a method that's a little different. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree the other day. They're a lot bigger than the ones that I originally purchased um, a couple weeks back, as you can see. Um, but my thought was that I could place multiple varieties of tomatoes in this container, and I'm going to keep these inside the house and put them on a heat mat like I did with some pepper seeds and see what I get to germinate. Now tomatoes are one of those things you can grow them clump together and then transplant them out into separate pots and let them grow up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put all six of these varieties in this one container and see what germinates, what doesn't. Like I said, these seeds are from 2014 you can see on the back of the packet. So we'll see what we get. Of this container I put holes in already. And the top I did not put holes in. I have some that I am going to um, use that have the tops, holes in the top. And I'm just going to see if there's any difference in how they germinate and or the time it takes from the germinate and just the quality of the plants overall. So I put my soil in. I'm going to add a little more on that side. And I have soil. Some popsicle sticks here that I'm going to use as dividers in here to make sure so I know where the seeds are placed. Um, my goal, like I said, is to get all six varieties in here. Tomatoes don't need a lot of space to germinate. And there's a minimum of 25 seeds per packet. Um, so okay, we'll now see. that I have that sectioned off, I'm going to go in and put in my labels that I've created here. Six varieties in each one. So these seed packets have a minimum of 25 seeds. Usually I would not sow this many seeds. There's a lot. But because of the year, and I'm not exactly sure how they were stored prior to me receiving them, I'm just going to sow the entire packet and see what I come up with. Yes, they may all germinate, but that just means I can share plants with other people. I just have to say, Baker Creek, they don't disappoint with seeds. Like this packet says a minimum of 15. Okay. Now this year might be a little different <laughs> because there's seed shortage. But I mean, good gracious. Look at that. That's clearly more than 15 seeds. Just okay, so I have this all sealed up, labeled soil seeds. Seeds are covered. Now what made me think of this was the other day I started some winter sowing jugs and I was inside doing them. And I didn't get a chance to tape them up, so they were in here for a couple days, and they germinated before I could get them outside. So I, once I see, seen that they had germinated, I taped them up, put them outside so that they can slow their roll a little bit. But I thought this would be <clears throat> pretty cool to see how these tomato seeds do. I do have a couple of pepper varieties that I'm going to try. I have some carrots, some sorghum, and some celery that I'm going to try. 
And I'm only doing this because they're older seeds and I just want to see what their germination rate is going to be. And I want to be able to keep these varieties. So we'll see what we get. I also have a bunch of eggplant that I need to do also. And there's some pretty awesome varieties that um, I have here. And I'll show them to you. I mean, some of them may still be offered, but I don't know. There's this one. And this one. It's another Thai variety. Um, this here. We love eggplant, but um, I don't know that I'll be able to grow all these. So I am sending some seeds out to some of my grow buddies so that they can grow some. And it'll keep those varieties around and available for the home gardener. Because that's what it's all about. Seeds, gardening, helping each other out. Okay. Um... In New York improved. There's no picture, so I'll have to go look this one up. The Thai yellow eggs, pretty tiny. And let's see, this one looks pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a red eggplant before. And there's this one here. This one, I think I've seen this one before. There's a Rosita. And a sweet Jade. Or Jade Sweet. This one I think is really awesome. <laughs> and this here is the last one. But these are some that I'm going to start also in another um, tray that I have. And see what comes of it. I might actually have to get more trays because there's way more varieties of eggplant than tomatoes that I had. But I um, bought these seeds from someone that they were trying to get rid of them in 2018. So we'll see what comes of them. All right. So I think I've chosen my six varieties after sifting through these seeds. I think I'm going to do the this one this one because it gets so large. This one because of the color that it is. <laughs> and this one, which is supposed to be a vigorous plant. And it said that it's superior to this one, possibly. So we're going to grow them and compare them. And this one because it's from West Africa and I think that's pretty cool. So. I'm going to get these in the trays and the labels and everything made for them, and then we'll be back. All right, so this is another thing that I'm going to try to germinate. I know it requires a very long growing season, so we're going to get this started and see if it germinates. We did 25 seeds. We'll see. This is an interesting um, celery variety, so we're going to start this and see if it does what Quiller would not do. It says this is a very hardy variety and it's a Dutch heirloom, so it gets about three feet tall. I'm very curious to see <laughs> if any of them germinate and what it they'll do. I had an element of excitement. I remembered I had this greenhouse, mini greenhouse, that I got for Christmas. So I'm going to stick them in here. And see what they do. All right, this is an update on the peppers that I did um, about two weeks ago that I started in the Powerade bottles. They are doing really well. The only ones that haven't come up so far is the Cubanelle and the Marconi Red. But everything else has come up and that Green Globe Artichoke is starting to poke through, which is really awesome. And I think right here is also one that's coming up. So everything's doing really good. The only thing that I noticed is on my arroz con pollo, they have a little yellowing of the leaves, but I think I overwatered them. 
As you can see, these are a little dry. They're a little wet. But I'm still excited. See the cilantro and the spinach. <laughs> Covered. It's covered. And we're supposed to get more snow tomorrow and Thursday. You can see a little bit of the tracks, but from our yard to the road, you can't see much variation. It's kind of crazy. But it is beautiful. Come on! Uh uh. Ha, ha, ha.